Well, Fisher here certainly is not afraid to get wet, and he's creating a major splash when it comes to recreational sports. He swims, he tubes, he paddle boards. Fisher is living his best life out on the water. There's really anything, nothing he hasn't done yet. Uh, maybe not a jet ski. We got to guess get, get him on a jet ski. <laughs> Finn Williams and Lorraine Rip said it didn't take long to find out their kitty could swim like a fishy. His first uh, trip was in a pool, and um, he went on a little floaty, and he jumped right off and started swimming. And he just did like the doggy paddle very quickly and just was off. We, we prefer the caddy paddle. That's true. But... The, the, the caddy, the kitty paddle. <laughs> the kitty the cat kitty paddle, paddle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the pool quickly escalated to the Gulf. Mark might be behind the wheel, but Fisher is the captain of this boat. He sits on the helm and we're going like 40 miles an hour and he just sits up on the front and is, he's looking into the wind, his hair is blowing. The one and a half year old Maine Coon got so much attention, Mark and Lorraine began sharing pictures with various outdoor companies. And pretty soon, Fisher was a spokes cat. Power pole, uh, airhead water sports, um, Fido. Fido Pet Products, they do a line of life preservers. You know, he's got over 13,000 followers on Facebook and Instagram now. These proud owners say the best part isn't the fame, it's the reaction. What I love about it is just how he brings a smile to everybody's face. And they are hoping more cat owners think outside the litter box. I think that people realize like cats are more adventurous than they thought and that, you know, they don't want to just hang at home and be judgmental. Like they can be judgy anywhere. In St. Pete, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.